Welcome to our part two. It's so great that you have really a lot. We have a lot of questions to discuss about, and and we that's why we put into two parts. So uh, we will continue our series youth to adult specifically in legal uh, industry, so that to help those that who are discovering whether they are one or doing uh, in in this profession, what they need to think about, and uh, so that prepare them well. Uh, so uh, in in this field, I want to ask. Kim, what is the gap that you find after you study and then you come to work and then is, is it really able to apply what you use? All you learn in your college, is it really useful in your practicing as a lawyer or chambering? Actually, la, like what you learn mm. uh, during LLB, mm. um, it helps to build a foundation, okay. a, a basic foundation for you uh, in, the, in the legal profession. Mm. So you will... Um, generally understand mm. uh, like why uh, the law is like that lah. Okay. Uh, uh. So, but if you do the actual work, uh, I would say you need to start from zero again. Mm. <laughs> Means you need to read all the law again? or uh, Not to read the law, but the actual work, the practicing work is different. Okay. Because uh, when you study LLB, you mm. don't learn how to draft a contract. Mm. You don't really learn how why to... Why they don't add into the syllabus? I think because there's too much oh, oh, oh. to learn. Okay, but uh, the, the drafting, I think drafting contract is very, is a very important role from a lawyer, right? Uh, it depends. Okay. Uh, if you are a litigator, a, mm. a litigation lawyer, so you don't need to draft a contract. Okay. Can you just give a general draft, like how many types of lawyer after you graduate? Because I think those who never study law, they might be convinced it's, it's a lawyer or there are I many types of lawyers. We have... Lawyers who practice in different areas. Mm. Uh, so it's called different areas of practice. Areas so, of practice. Uh, okay. So it's like, uh, firstly, I'm in the area of conveyancing. Conveyancing. Okay, so there's a area of litigation. Litigation? What is litigation? Litigation is like um, matters that need to be litigated in the court. Uh, okay. You need the court to help you to solve the issue. Like, let's say, uh, civil litigation and criminal. Mm. So civil litigation would be like uh, divorce, mm. uh, wills, mm. probate. Okay. Uh, like and like you get a court order lah. Court and versus uh, 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 they will be a lawyer to debate and help the to fight for the case uh. Yeah, for okay. criminal it's different. Uh, for criminal is like a uh, robbery la, rape la, okay. uh, this kind of. It's uh, not issue. okay. Okay, criminal law. Okay. okay. Uh, so so it's different. So just now we talk about convincing litigation and there's a corporate. Corporate. Ah, uh, corporate is like uh more on uh companies that you need to help the companies to draft agreements like shareholders agreements, mm. um, uh, commercial agreements, uh for uh, maybe uh, purchase of stocks la, mm. uh, all these things. All these needs need need to go through CLP as well. To yes. Practice the Correct. Okay. Mm, these these are the lawyers who can like uh, witness your uh signatures. Okay. Uh, when you sign on the contract. One sign. You get some money. So only these three areas, generally? Uh, generally, I can list out these three areas, but there are other like, like trademark. Okay, uh, IP. IP, IP intellectual okay. property, mm. trademark, agent, patents. Okay. Uh, uh, then copyrights. Uh, these are all under intellectual property. Is it part of the subject, uh, but as, a, as a lawyer, able to go through this field as well? Uh, during LB, you can choose this subject. Oh, if I didn't choose, I still can go for it, right? Yes, correct. Uh, 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 that's why I say, uh, from what you study in your course, and when you practice, it's different. But if you, so how many percent for, like for example, I learned hundred percent from what I have learned in the LLB, and while I'm practicing, how many percent you think you really can use all the things that you learn and apply in your work? I don't think you can use everything. <laughs> Because uh, the subject we, we take la, is like uh, criminal, tort, mm. uh, contract, mm. uh, but you don't use all of it. You don't uh, use a specific area, right? Because you learn a general or everything. We learn a general everything, of everything. But when you use only specific area, right? Yeah, it uh, depends where you Is there a you role practice? that you will cover the whole thing? Where you are like a partner, you handle different areas If of, you want to but, handle 
all kinds of cases. But they won't, right? Generally in the... Won't, because if you you want to be a master of that subject... Uh, master of lawyer? Uh, not master of the lawyer, it's like... Um, master of that field. You can't be like... Um, yeah, yeah. Master of that field. Okay. Like, you get a reputation. Like, let's say uh, people will know you as a lawyer who can uh, mm-hmm. do uh, a certain... certain issue like IP. Wow, very, very famous. famous and... Uh, okay. For litigation, also very famous for criminal. Okay. Uh, so for those who are already considering doing law, please, uh, I think this is very good information. When you are working, you would really go for a specific area so that you won't be so disappointed. Why I Tai Choi Si Yong? I learned so many things and you only put me in a specific area. But I think when you start working on it, you will not say the same thing. But for those who are just graduate and doing chambering, you may struggle on this one. I think this will be really helpful for uh, all of us. Okay, have you been to court uh, many times or is it all pra- practices must, must go through this court things one? Everyone who went for chambering, uh. I believe uh, you can choose to expose yourself okay. to go into court. Choose to expose? Okay, yeah. So mean not a must. La. Yeah, because uh, let's say la, for legal aid, mm. uh, legal aid la, like mm. we uh, give free uh, work mm. to help uh, certain uh, groups of people. Mm. Uh, legal aid, then you can choose to go for the court one. Mm. Uh, mitigation. La. Okay. Uh, we call it dog brief. Dog brief. Uh, dog brief is like uh, the it's D O C K, not D O G. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, D O C K brief. Uh, so it's Where's a, a cat. <laughs> it's a dog brief. Okay. So um, you uh during this uh dog brief mm. uh like you can choose one day mm. uh, to go to the court mm. uh where I was exposed la, mm. uh that I have to help uh certain people who don't have money to mm. hire a lawyer to help them. Mm. So probably uh they. Maybe they have a uh, drug, uh, drug abuse mm. or what? That's why they are, uh, they are, they are, they are caught lah. Okay. Uh, they are caught lah. Maybe they are caught having possession of a bit of drugs. Mm. Uh, this is during your chambering. During your, ch- during my so chambering. So mean during the practice of three areas, just as we mentioned, uh, which one is like always must go to court one? Which is the second? The second litigation. Or uh, the first and the third, they will uh able to just do on paper and so on. Yes, correct. Oh, we don't need. Okay. Unless there is a corporate litigation, it also go to litigation lah. Okay. Uh, even if corporate lah, like corporate matters is only on uh, agreements. Mm. Mm. And then you advise how are you going to start up a company. So you advise your client, is there any other implication you need to be aware? Okay. Uh. So, uh, uh, next question is that, uh, is there a lot of handsome boys and ladies in this field? There's oh, a lot of, you know, all the lawyers in Hong Kong, so like Taiwan, right? All the, all the, all the, all the ladies. Is there, how, how is this field, uh, what, what, what do you think after you start working? I think like, I think like uh, for for anyone lah. I mean like if you have a uniform fetish or what, mm. you see uh, people in a robe and what you 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 will naturally feel that they look smarter, uh, awesome. uh, like smarter or more intelligent, uh-huh. like whole handsome whole yang like that. Uh, is it a lot? Is it a lot of this? Uh, uh, um, this? it depends lah. <laughs> it depends. It okay. depends lah because for us we just. For us, it's normal lah. Oh, uh, okay. But for my area of practice, uh, in my firm, it'll be more girls than guys. Okay. Uh. Oh, for her firm lah, okay? Uh, for my firm lah, because uh, it's our firm mainly do sell and purchase agreement. Mm. So, a lot of details, it's, it's yes. like a more detailed work. So, like, girls are more details, they True. are able to do it better True. than guys generally Maybe lah. true this one. <laughs> And uh, what is okay f- from your five years of experience? What's the saddening thing that in the field like you saw like how the lead in the inside politics and how lawyer try to destroy lawyer? Is there any these kind of cases? Like uh, saddest thing la. Yeah, like, like, like mm, you feel from your few years. Uh, for me, I think I'm still okay. It's just, Overall okay la. Uh, generally okay la. Like the 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 area, the environment that I'm exposed to, mm. like so far is still safe. But if you see such a harassment. Mm. Uh, I would say um, it depends because uh, for me, mm. I actually uh, experienced it before. Okay, during your your working. Uh, yes, during okay. my first job. Okay, after chambering. Uh? After chambering, okay. yeah. So so uh, such a harassment uh, in work lah. Uh, in words. Is very hard to define because yes. um, 
you think that oh maybe your boss is just uh, being Think making jokes not jokes uh, they, are, they are more like oh I'm just being more uh, close to you oh. a friend friend uh, and then they were like sit, uh, sit, like they were touch you a bit but you feel like uh, it's more like maybe brush you a bit mm. but then a few like one or two times maybe you think oh it's just an accident mm. but after a few times you think like eh hey, this, this is not worth already wow. this is the they were, they were like touch, they were, yeah okay, okay, okay. because you are not comfortable with it okay uh, and mm. then and then uh, like other times I have experienced is um, like if I w- walk in front then some then the, my uh, that colleague will suddenly have a phone mm. Like very near to me, like under my skirt. Mm. Uh, but it's like it's a hunch. It's like I feel it, mm. but I'm not sure whether it is. Then I turn around. Then maybe, uh, already like uh, oh, okay. uh, So so it's like all these things, all these little things, uh, okay. So so um. So I mean, is it only on the female side? Male side, do you hear anything like they? I think always on the female side, uh. okay, Like so- male side. I seldom heard. <laughs> mm. For female, it's like because maybe your boss la or whoever, uh, they are more uh, because they are higher rank. Mm. So you are worried that or uh, if you say something, uh, you uh, they will like uh, have a grudge on you mm. or something. Mm. But because of this issue la, like I have experienced la, so I'm kind of like that time I was very pressured uh, not to share. Mm. And then I also don't know what to do mm. because I'm worried like if I lost the job mm. or I'm worried like during the course of my job then my boss treat me very bad. Okay. Ah, uh, treat me very mean la, and mm. try to make my life difficult and all that. Okay. So you will you will worry about that. That's why I say sexual harassment at work mm. is very, um, it's tricky to handle. Tricky. Very tricky. Mm. Because I think this is this is a very good note because for those I think not only in law field, in other field, other big field like a lot of people or not say professional line but big firms you may encounter this situation and I think specifically for female protection I think must be wise and you can prepare well on 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 all these things might happen to your uh, after you graduate because in your study I think they won't teach you right they won't teach you <laughs> okay. take note take note okay yeah this these are the one of the things that you need to learn now when you start then working you encounter, uh, then you encounter now you are very experienced in it right? If now, you, now I like keep a distance. Like I know you know they they because will. when doing my first job, it was my first year mm. at work. So I basically like I I I have never encountered this kind of situation. I've never encountered people like uh, treat you uh uh inappropriately ah mm. uh, because I'm also not sure because I cannot get the evidence. Mm, but evidence in, lawyer talk about <laughs> evidence ah uh. yeah because you have the hunch. Mm. But the other person is a lawyer also. Mm. <laughs> Oh, you go to handle it. Then they will say, "No, you are uh, you you think too much or what? I didn't do it or what?" But okay. it's like I caught a few times. Like I saw, like why your phone the camera mode is on. Ah, mm. uh, I'll be like, "Eh, why your camera mode is on? What is it? What are you doing?" I said, "No, no, no. Oh, my phone uh uh have some problem. Like you suddenly turn to camera mode. Mm, wow, very good problem. <laughs> wow, <huh? laughs> mm. yeah. So uh." That time, uh, until at one point, mm. I just tell the person because the person will tell me his love language is physical touch. Love language. Yeah, even oh, even bring out a love language, physical touch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, then I was like, uh, then I tell him love language is your love language. People mm. touch you, you feel love. Mm. But my love language is not touching. Mm. My love language is not physical touch, and I don't feel comfortable other people touching me. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So after that, of course, I think he got it. Mm. Yeah, he got it. Even though he doesn't touch me, but maybe he got do other stuff lah. Mm. But what I know, I just have to uh, tackle it lah. Mm. Like let's say if he want to walk behind me, mm. so I let him walk in front of me. Mm. Ah, so it is is some of the way that you can do to protect yourself because you wouldn't be like leaving a firm just because someone treat you like this. But you need to tell the person mm. you don't like this. Okay. Ah. And then make sure that he doesn't die, does it anymore. Mm. Yeah, but of course, um, during that time, uh, because he's my superior, mm. so um, after that, uh, my life is not Easy. easier, <laughs> any mm. easier. So uh, I have um, encountered like um, 
verbal abuse. Verbal abuse. Ah, uh, okay. if he can do any physical or whatever, so verbal abuse. So verbal abuse is like um, uh, give you like how to say. Also stupid one like. And something like that? Uh, something very uh, disappointing, disappointing, demotivating. Mo- de- yes, like insulting. Okay. Like, uh, this kind of work, why why you don't do? I even have to ask the club to help you. No brain one, ah. Uh, uh, something something like that. Like like they didn't say no brain lah, mm. but in all the words, it's already equal to no brain. Ah uh, mm. uh, uh. So uh, so is it? This is why uh you after that you left your job. I left my job because of this thing. Uh, or you want? Or you actually, you because of the verbal abuse and also because of the harassment. Okay. Ah, uh, and then I was not happy, and then uh, it actually how to say it gave a very negative impact to in my life. Oh, okay. It's like in my emotion, in my uh life, like like until the point I feel very mm. stressed and pressured that I would I I even reach the point that I feel like I have a depression. Okay. Like I feel like. Why do I need to be so suffering? Mm. Uh, until like I I feel like uh at the point like uh this life on earth is not worth living. Okay. Ah, uh, it's like uh it's too negative. Mm. It's very very toxic to my life. Mm. Then until one day uh last throw la, he mm. he said something he did something, I just tell him it's okay. Mm. I I will quit. Well, thank you, uh, Kim, to sharing with us on 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 the on the case that you faced in your first full time job, and I think uh, for all of us, you need to be be careful, especially for ladies. I think when you work in the corporate side or in the commercial side or in big city, because a lot of people coming from different backgrounds, some are maybe very open about sexuality. Some of them we are very conservative and maybe they use some jokes that you feel uncomfortable. And she mentioned one word is very uh, important, which is this will lead you to some type in a minor depression. And uh, just now you mentioned you this because of this thing caused you in the moment of depression. How long it took? How long is the depression period? Uh, that time uh, I didn't realize that I was like having a depression. Mm. So because uh, that time um, I went to cell group. Okay. I would be complaining about work, my work, work, my boss, like all the time, very complaining, mm. uh, whining, whining, mm. and then a uh, very bad attitude lah. Mm. Uh, it's like very toxic. It's like I feel very down. Mm. I feel like I don't want to care about anyone. Mm. I only want to care about myself because I'm not happy. Okay. I'm very, I'm angry, mm. and I'm 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 unhappy, and then um, I just want to. I don't want to be kind. Okay. Like because I become a like kind of a mean person ah. Because okay. like friends around me, like how I talk to them, they can feel like, mm. eh, how come you suddenly talk like very mean? Mm. Uh, why suddenly are you so mean? Like, like of course they don't know what I went through, but when they make that remark, mm. then I suddenly I realize why why did I become like this? Ah, mm. uh, and then how long how long is the period that you observe you can gauge? Uh, I think uh, during uh my working time lah, because uh for my first job I only worked for nine months altogether. Mm. Because it's like during the seven month I already said I want to quit. Okay. So I think uh, around it's months. around three months lah. In be- this situation, that you being means and you you got angry easily. Yeah, I got very angry easily. I get very impatient, and then I get uh like 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 towards my friends. I I just like suddenly get angry for okay. for no reason. It's like it's a very small issue, mm. but I get angry. Like for my normal self, I wouldn't. Okay. I would just like oh it's an it's a it's a small issue like it this is this is, are all the symptoms lah. Okay. You just don't want to get out of the house. You, you want to stay alone. You want to stay alone. Mm. You want to do your own things, and then uh you are constantly very uh anxious. Mm. Uh, it's like you feel like I haven't I haven't done this I haven't done that my work is not done yet. Okay. Like constantly you are you are on pressure, mm. and then you can realize like on your skin lah like. I have like uh that time, pimple mm. uh be, uh under my cheek ah okay. uh, uh, here mm. this area so I went to see a doctor mm. so the doctor say these are like sand pimple mm. it's not like the pimple that you can sand see. pimple everyone uh. take note sand pimple <laughs> yeah it's not like a normal big pimple big, that big you can one, see it's the whole it's sand is here it's like you can feel it but you can't see it ah mm. uh, like 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 very small like sand because of stress right. 
because of the stress, the doctor lah, because I went to a Chinese practitioner. Okay. Ah, uh, and then uh, because if you go to skin doctor, they will just give you medicine. medicine. They won't tell you what happened. Okay. But for Chinese practitioner, they are able to like uh, diagnose. Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, internally, your your liver is not good or what mm. So. Bam <laughs> up. So yeah, that time even uh, for girls lah, even uh, uh, my period is not uh, regular. Okay. Ah, uh, it's not stable, yes. and then it's like uh, you can like a few months uh, your period didn't come. Okay. Because due to a lot of stress, so that's why I went to a Chinese practitioner. Okay. So. Tiao li, tiao li. Ah, tiao li. Adjust, and, adjust. Yeah, and then the doctor will say, uh, "Are you having like a uh, very uh, big pressure? Because hmm. I can, I can, uh, I can diagnose that uh, inside your liver, and then uh, whatever lah." Is mm. is uh like very heaty or what lah? They mm. will say they will say uh this is due to there's something in your heart is not resolved. Okay. Ah, uh, this one is like Chinese thing lah, a Chinese practitioner kind of thing lah. They are some see. So so, <laughs> so like what she say is true mm. because uh maybe on the surface I look fine and all mm. that, but actually there's a lot of things in my heart. Mm. So it's like I'm very angry and all that lah. Mm. Uh, all this will cause. This kind of pimple lah and all that, and then your period doesn't come regularly. Okay. So I have to take medicine, very, okay. very, uh, <laughs> very bitter medicine. Mm. Ah. Fu cha. Yeah. It it help. It does help a bit lah. But main thing is what the doctor say is whatever that is in your heart, you need to settle it lah. Mm. Ah. And then we can come to an auto call already after this. <laughs> it's like internally whatever that is, ah, uh, it will affect your emotion your whole, and your, your emotion, whole... your whole body. Uh. So, but we are showing this. It's not trying to scare you away and don't do laws. Actually, this is not only applied in certain uh, industry. It's applied in uh, all the working that we fresh create. That actually, I think we are quite new to handle all this kind of stress. Correct. Like like when I was just working, I think I found this whole season like the first three years of uh, young working at or fresh graduate. They always get very stressful because the adapting into this. Environment and they don't know how to release it, and I think this is where all the young working adults are facing a high pressure and and we really need friends. Like for her, she she got friends to remind her why you become so mean. So it's very important when you just starting to uh to to work full time in any industry, you may have entered in the mild uh depression or like for female you might have um distort in your periods and your emotion everything you might get disturbed whenever uh. Industry that you are, you are in, so a friends with you or some counsel from some experience uh, working adult is very 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 important. You must have some good friend with you, and you don't don't lock down your yourself in your uh, your social because like what she said, you will lock yourself in your room. You don't want to do anything. You don't want to meet people. I think most of the working adult they have this feel when they are in the college. I want to go every time, right? But when they start working after finish work, what they do? Stay at home. Just don't do anything. Just want to stay at home for first three years. I think I experienced that as well. But after that, we have grown up and we got it, and then we know how to manage it. Now I think this is where we are getting stable and stable. So ah, uh, so don't be afraid. It's not only in <laughs> legal industry, but I think this is a very good um reminder for those that who ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, coming out from high school and enroll in college. Don't be afraid. It just Part of the process. So now we are uh, bring a little bit of the fun part. What is the fun part in your uh in as a working adult that you and you find is very enjoy in 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 your uh in, in your working area? My working area, actually, uh, the fun part mm. is I meet a lot of kinds of people. Kinds of people. Ah, uh, uh, mm. a lot of types like mm. like how maybe if you work in a sales mm. environment, mm. you meet all kinds of kind of funny funny customers, mm. right? So I also meet a lot of funny funny kind of clients. Mm. So I'm just doing a sort of purchase agreement. Okay. But it will involve like their family matters. Ah, mm. uh, suddenly I'm their counselor already. Ah, mm. uh, suddenly they will involve it. Oh, me and my husband. Ah. Uh, Uh, we fight. Ah, uh, we fight. We getting divorced. Ah, uh, we already divorced. So this money, the the after the selling of the money, should half to me and half to him. Mm. So you have to help me. Ah, uh, something like that. But I will tell them I'm just doing the agreement. Mm. So whatever that is involved with your family matters, you guys should like give me a conclusion mm. and don't don't involve me. So ah uh, ah, uh, the fun part is you you get to like, ah. Uh, 
Don't give myself info, otherwise I will be, <laughs> like, I will, I will be drowning. Like molding, like like huh? Mm -hmm. Like how come I'm instantly like I get involved in your family matter? Oh, there, there will be like the husband will call you. Hey, my wife told you this, 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 and then suddenly the wife call me. Hey, my husband, uh, did tell you this, 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 mm. this. So it's like. I'm just doing an agreement. I'm mm. not a divorce lawyer or whatever. Then they'll ask me, uh, can you help us with this? Uh? So, well, you mentioned, you told me you, you will have a lot of interesting cases or in interesting scenario that you will face daily or in your working area. Uh, is, this, is this where the fun part is? You uh, can hear a lot of different stories. I will see uh, the one fun. of the fun part. Oh, maybe uh, I will share like uh, legal aids. Mm. Like when I go to court that time, mm. I meet like, uh, like just now I mentioned uh, drug abuse people. Okay. Those people who uh, take a bit of drugs mm. or maybe have a possession of, of some drugs. Mm. So uh, us, la, the legal aids uh, lawyer, mm. we will be brought, brought la, to the mm. court's lockup. La. Mm. Then uh, we will meet with them. I meet with them Ooh. and then you have to ask them. So any of you are uh, interested uh, to get a, a legal aid lah, free one, a free lawyer to help mm. you to mitigate. Mm. Mitigate is to help you to uh, lighten the sentencing la. Mm. Uh, for having uh, uh, for having, having drugs because probably they they wouldn't know how to help themselves, defend mm. themselves in the court. Mm. So maybe the, the 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 judge will ask. So uh, you admit that. Uh, mm. uh, so so uh, means uh, you you admit that uh, you took the drug la, and all, all these things la. Mm. So after that, uh, uh, the judge will read out the sentencing uh, because okay. she will ask you. So anything thing else you want to add on, you want to say, mm. you want to like help yourself or what? So that person probably wouldn't know. Oh, actually, I can say something to help mm. myself. Mm. So that is where we came in. Mm. Uh, we will help the. The, the the person la mm. say uh, actually la my family got uh, uh, who whoever whoever is sick la who need me to go and work and take the money in so I cannot be going in the uh, prison la, mm. something like that so these are all the things that uh, fun things mm. that I see okay. because it's very new and interesting to me mm. I wouldn't know like oh uh, actually we can like help this person in mm. this way because for us we will think like oh Drug abuse ma, confirm lah, get this sentencing lah. Mm. Uh, uh, if you're a thief lah, or confirm get this sentencing lah, it's like... But may, there, there may be some story behind... Yes, but they don't know how to <laughs> say it because maybe they are too scared. Mm. Maybe this is the first time they're in court. Mm. So what we can do is we help them lah. But for some lah, I can see so drama lah in the court. Oh. Some people like already caught so many times. Mm. So they were like... They are expert already. They are expert already. They want to be caught. Mm. Because they can, you know, have free food in the prison, mm. maybe. Hey, uh, this is not our... <laughs> we are not encouraging and, you to get free food, okay? Yeah, yeah, but it's very interesting. You can see all this in the court. And then, uh, somewhat, uh, you can... you can um, Very funny, like, you can see the drama. Uh, got some, they even, like, cry. It's like, mm. cry, la, and, and what, la? Please. Uh, it, like, the first, in the first second, they are very chill, one. Very happy, la. Like, still can joke, joke. And suddenly, yeah, when the... Judge asked him something uh, because he already very experienced. Uh, mm. He start to cry already, mm. uh, but not real, not real tears. So uh. you, were, you, you you were like, wow, wow, uh, okay, very and even the even the judge already like uh, used no, to no, it. Know your pattern already. Uh, cry, uh, cry, uh, cry. Uh, uh, finish already or not? Okay, uh, finish already. Uh. You okay? Uh, okay, next. Uh, used to it already. So 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 she already know. Uh, this person is just want to take a seat uh, in the prison uh. So maybe uh, we'll reduce all the sentence, you know? Maybe just say, oh, two weeks only, lor. <laughs> okay. Ah, ah, it's very funny. So not only this case, uh, a, lot, a lot of funny, funny cases. Mm. Uh. Mm. I think this is really only able to enjoy or found in uh, law industries profession. Yes. Like, I, like, like I think in doctors or in, uh, in accountancy or in uh, art stream, engineer stream, they will be, have different kind of part. But you, but you enjoy these kind of cases. You find interesting la. I just find interesting because I never know Oh, it's actually like this Because we are always on TVB drama Oh, it's always like this, this, this But actually I would say uh, Hong Kong practice mm. and Malaysia practice is different mm. So you don't think that Can going... I fight until you talk, yeah, talk, talk you... everything you like <laughs> <laughs> You don't think that going debate into you... court The debate will debate be like you... Hong Kong <laughs> Probably it will be like very So, so smart <laughs> Okay, hey, let me call Hong Kong Yeah, yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's, it's totally different Wow. We all also expect that. I mean, I mean for myself, like, I also thought like, oh, maybe you go in court, you can see this lawyer, this lawyer, blah, 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 blah. Uh. Like, like TVB drama, so, so dramatic. Mm. But no. 
Okay. Uh. <laughs> it's very interesting and uh, I think this is what our image, uh, our lawyer, lost lawyer image in our minds or in our childhood. But uh, uh, the next question we want to uh, check is that uh, if give you a chance to, to, to reselect your subject or to enter this kind of uh, any field, will you still consider, will, will you change that subject or you will change back to psychology, die, die, you want to fight for a job, actually if you, you are okay, you are alright, you continue to take law. For me, like, I think first few years of work, I did think maybe I took the wrong subject. Okay, this is very important. <laughs> this is where all the first few years people think, okay, I thought I shouldn't be an auditor, I shouldn't be a doctor. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because due to the work environment you are mm. in, you'll be like, oh, maybe I could have picked another subject which will be easier. Mm. That is our perception. But uh, we should know that actually for every industry, mm. any profession, they have their difficulties mm. because we all have certain expectation mm. uh, when we before we enter the working life mm. we have a certain expectation oh uh, the environment should be like how we imagine like how uh, Google mm. Apple that mm. kind of environment it should be like happy chilling mm. uh, everyone is friendly and helping each other wow. I always want to work there <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, we need to face a reality lah mm. uh, like in Malaysia, in our community, in the Asian community, like uh, this is what we do. This mm. is how we are going to uh, work with each other. Mm. So um, the first few years will be the time that you are adapting yourself to mm. this environment because it's totally different from how you deal, deal with people in college. Mm. Uh, so after that, uh, for me, la, law, I did think maybe it was the wrong subject. Okay. But after that, until now, I would think that um, I've learned a lot. Mm. So all the skills, all the knowledge that I've learned from mm. here, it can help me to go forward in life. Mm. Uh, because until at this stage, I would think when I look back, right, actually a lot of things are like, like I'm suddenly very anxious. Hey, I do this wrongly. Or uh, maybe I'm suddenly, any mistakes, lah, I will get mm. very anxious easily. Mm. But now I'm at the, at, the, at the time, like at the heart, like I look back and see, oh, these are just some silly small mistakes. Mm. Uh, but it's not a dying matter. It's not a life and death matter. It's but when the last time you were like, wow, I'm dying already. Actually, just I just a little bit peanut. Yeah, it's just a peanut matter. This is all the mistake that you made. Mm. This is what makes who you are today. Okay, so you, meaning if give you a chance, you will not change your subject or change your field because the experience that really opened up yourself to, to how to move forward in your life, right? Yeah, I think uh, for law, right, I would think uh, it's a very good subject to take even if you uh, do not want to become a lawyer. Maybe this subject will help you in other areas. Mm. Uh, like, uh, like other areas you want to venture, like for example, business, uh, mm. corporate world uh, and, and other, other areas because like uh, you can take business management and all that, all, mm. all those things lah, mm. if you want to do business lah. But for law, like for, for me lah, like at that time, mm. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm not sure I want to go into corporate. I'm not sure whether I want to uh, be in the legal profession mm. or I'm not sure whether I want to uh, do something else. Mm. Uh, because law, LLB is still a degree. Mm. Uh, if you do not know what you want to do and you think you want to take law as a challenge mm. lah. Uh, as uh, a challenge, uh. <laughs> as a challenge, as uh. a challenge, and and you think you are interested in the subject, I I think you can take it. Yeah, I think uh, it's very important for this one as well, and uh, because some people might feel very disappointed if I take accountancy, I don't do I don't do auditor, or I be I, I take law, I don't um uh, I uh, my only choice is practice lawyer. So for from her experience, maybe in the few years later, she might not end up in. Uh, legal field anymore, maybe in corporate or in different business, maybe open her own business after she got so many of uh, experience from handling uh, certain people like in sales or in in, in even in AIDS or in non-profit situation. That's really what, what makes her today now is the experience she went through. So I uh, would encourage all those that who are considering taking any kind of subject that you are, are thinking right now, don't be too stressed. The stress will come <laughs> while you start working, but I think this is a part of a life. And most important that you are not facing that alone. We are here to, to listen, to share with you. There are many people out there to really want to support you, to really build up 
helping different generations to come up together because we all went through it today and and we, we are in here today because of there are people who are listening to us and helping us and praying for us as well so Kimberly uh, do you have any advice to to the to the youth or young people that who are coming out from this subject to face uh, to turning to a young working adult my advice is enjoy the process <laughs> enjoy the process because like what you said just now um, we all went through it we have to went through our youth, we went through college, we went through uh, to being a young working adult. So for, We are still young, yeah. for information, we are still young. We are still young. For this era, it's actually, um, we are blessed to have a lot of information mm. through various platforms, especially internet. So we are actually very blessed. Like whatever you don't know, you can go online and you can search and all that. Okay, but the thing is, the... Uh, bad side about this is we have too much information that mm. we don't filter. Mm. Uh, we will think like the, the the wrong side about that certain profession, that industry. Mm. Okay, but I would say everything has its good and bad, but it's just how you see it. My advice is enjoy the process because I recently I saw this quote quote. Mm. It say you can recycle everything but you can't recycle time. Mm. Yeah, every time, like let's say la, we, 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 um, we went on to college, then we will look back to high school. Mm. We enjoy the high school time. We want to mm. go back to the high school time. So when we go, go on to working adult, we suddenly feel like college is the best time of our life. So it's, it's, it will be always like this. When like, you get married, you think, oh, single is the best half of my life. Yeah, <laughs> it will always be like this. But I would say, just appreciate uh, whatever that you went through now because time goes then you cannot get it back anymore and then like what you said just now mm. this is also what i want to say it's like when of course you will feel difficult you will feel like suffering like whatever mm. circumstances difficulties you are put in you will feel like it's very hard to go through mm. but bear in mind you can go through it mm. you can go through it it's just that when you can't you feel like can't please ask for help Yes. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Just tell anyone. If let's say you tell this person A, he doesn't help you, go to the next person, or go to the following person. Don't give up. Mm. Really don't give up. Don't just because you are in that circumstances, you just feel like I can't go through this, uh, I'm suffering la, I mm. memang, memang, I, I really cannot already la. Mm. I know because we have all been there. Yes. We have all been there and then when you look back, right, it's like, actually, you went through it. And, and I would say, um, thank God. Like, really, thank God that uh, I have people around me who help me through this. Even though they, like, they don't understand what I'm going through, really. Because you will feel like, oh, these people, I tell them, they also don't understand me. La, mm. Right? You feel like, they don't understand me. I don't want to tell them. No. You can tell them, you can let them know actually you need people to accompany you to go through this even though they may not understand you. They can help you to pray, they can give you the warmth you need, they can give you the company you need to go through this. And always uh, lean on God. Don't forget that God is there by your side. And God has put people around you to help you. There are people who support you, can help you. Maybe there are some bad apples there, mm. but don't give up really. Don't give up. Don't give up because of bad apples. Okay? Yes, and ask for help. Asking for help is not weak. It's not showing that you are weak. Yes. I know I know. like those the drama, those series that always teach you, you cannot show you are weak. Hmm. You have to be strong. You have to show people that you are strong to, in order to go forward. No. This is an entirely wrong. Hmm. <laughs> because I was, I has been there before. I thought that... Try to be strong. Uh, and... Try to be strong and I don't easily cry and hmm. all that. Hmm. But someone tell me, God create tears mm. for you to express your sadness, wow. your anger, your suffering. So you should use it. No wonder tears came out. <laughs> now I know. Thanks for the quote. <laughs> so you should use it. If you want to cry, you need to cry. You cry. Don't hold back. You need to ask for help. Really ask. I will say this a few times. Ask for help. Because I know there are people which... Um, I heard that mm. they are unable to ask for help mm. and then they have went to the wrong way. Mm. So when you went to the way that you cannot return, really, if you lose your life and that's it, mm. you cannot do anything about it. 
and why do you need to lose your life over a, a small, small mistake? Ah, uh, it's not life and death. Mm. It's not like uh, you, you think it's very hard that time, but it's not. It's not really. After you went through it, it's not. That's why don't go towards the extreme way. Don't go to the to the to the a and direction to the ending your life and uh, so on. to ending your life yes. and so on. Yeah. I don't think uh, I think when you are in the start working, we always encounter this moment in our when we're just starting to face all kind of this stressful environment, stressful job, and even in your emotion. Trying to end my life is more easier to face all these things. Currently, right? currently, I've been there. Yeah. So I know, I know. It's like when we are in that situation, like we are depressed, like mm. we are really covered by all kinds of yes. problems. Like it's better for me to just go to God earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you God earlier. <laughs> yeah, but hey, Take God, me. God has different plans for us. Amen. Yeah, He has different plans for us. Not plans to make us suffer and die like that. Mm. No, the suffering, the perseverance that we went through. This is how He trained us. Yes. He, of course, I mean like God as our father, he wants to take all the sufferings away from us. Mm. It's the same like in the future we have our kids. Whatever they went through, the difficulties they went through, we want to help them. We want to take all the difficulties they are going through so mm. that they have easier life. But God looking at us, he also wants to help us. But he can only bring us through, strengthen us mm. and not taking away our problems. That's why we can see like so now she can speak very confidently <laughs> and like, Wow, and uh, definitely because of being through a lot of things, it's not easy at all. But for God's grace, it's really enough for all of us. Yes. So we want to appreciate uh, Kim with us, and today it's learned so much. And I hope all of you, if you really like it, just keep likes, uh, give clap or anything, share to your friends, uh, share this link, share this video to your friends, and we are coming out few more series uh, from about this uh, from youth to adult and if you have any questions specification you will us to ask just uh, let us know or comment into the uh, a video below we will take note and we will try to include in the next episode so uh thank you very much uh, kim we really uh, enjoy the conversation uh, learn so many things from you and and benefit from you can we pray for you and also uh pray for the youth uh we will pray for the youth as well okay I want to give thanks for this wonderful conversation that uh, how can we share our life that Lord that you be with us I want to give thanks for Kim Lord you continue to guide her in this uh, in this career and bringing through all this experience that she will continue to serve you and worship you in all kinds of field whenever she is and so Lord I uphold her life her family her relationship her career to your mighty hand that you will become a uh, lot of everything in her life and we want to pray for those that who are looking uh, watching this video those who are searching whether they should do this or do that or not most important not they will, they will continue to enjoy every single moment even the struggle moments that they will continue to hold up there is hope in all season they will not end up uh, lose hope because god is always with every single one of us so lord bless all those who are watching right now be with them in the name of jesus we pray amen, amen. thank you thank you we will see you in the next episode welcome to youth to adult. adult i'm enoch i'm caroline if you find this video very beneficial uh, share to your friends text yes. to your friends yes. and most important if you have any question send us a question we can ask on behalf of you as well yeah, don't be shy. Remember, send us questions you can send to Enoch or send to me. 